Meanwhile, the 1.1 trillion Naira Federal Capital Territory Appropriation Bill 2024 has scaled second reading at the Nigerian Senate. The bill, which was sponsored by the Senate leader Okwayemi Pamidele, seeks to authorize the sum of 1.1 trillion Naira from the FCT Administration Consolidated Revenue Fund. It also contemplates a consideration of the 2024 to 2026 economic recovery growth. Correspondent Falasha De Ulusha confirms the report from Abuja. A breakdown of the 1.1 trillion Naira appropriation bill shows that 280 billion Naira has been booked for overhead, 726 billion Naira for capital projects, and 140 billion Naira for what was termed personnel, bringing the total budget to 1.147 trillion Naira. Leading the debate on the general principles of the bill, Senate leader acknowledged that the appropriation bill took into cognizance the FCT administration's revenue and expenditure forecasts, which are in tandem with fiscal and developmental policies of the federal government. The total proposed FCT 2024 statutory appropriation is one trillion one hundred and forty-seven billion seven hundred and eighty million six hundred and ten thousand. 283 Naira only, out of which the sum of 140 billion 915 million 3856 Naira only is for personnel costs, and the sum of 280 billion 527 million 373,000 668 Naira only is for overhead costs, while the balance of 726 billion 338 million 232,759 Naira only is for capital projects. During the debate, Deputy Senate President called for support to ensure swift passage of the bill. The minister was here and he wrote out all what he intends to do in terms of the security of lives and properties within the FCT, in terms of infrastructure. In fact, in, in, you know, he brought about, wrote out issues to do with the innovations he wants to bring to bear in the FCT in order to change the trend of how things are done here. In his remarks, President of the Senate, Goswil Akpabio assured that the bill, which has been presented earlier than usual, will be expeditiously considered and passed to encourage the Minister of the FCT to advance reforms in the nation's capital. Seeing this coming now is very highly commendable. It shows that there is a, a, a resolve on the part of the Minister to transform the FCT in line with the eight-point agenda of the renewed hope of President Bola met Tunibu's administration. So this Senate has noted his efforts and we commend his efforts. And we hope that other uh, parasitas and other agencies of government whose budgets are yet to be considered will follow suit and not try to bring their budgets in September or October. The 1.1 trillion Naira appropriation bill has been referred to the committee on the FCT to report back on the next legislative session.